5.5, the triangle inequality. Theorem 5.11, the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be larger than the third side. The triangle inequality theorem states that two sides of a triangle are greater than the third side. In this triangle, line segments P, Q, and R, P are greater than Q, R. P, Q, and Q, R are greater than R, P. Q, R, and R, P are greater than P, Q. When you have two sides of a triangle, to find the third side, you must use the triangle inequality theorem. To find the range of the missing side of a triangle, you would use the theorem. So, the theorem states that two sides are greater than the third side. So, you would supply x with the side you don't know, and then you would do um, 3 plus 5 is greater than x. So that would result in x is less than 8. 3 plus x is greater than 5. And that would um, result in x is greater than 2. And then you would do um, x plus 5 is greater than 3. And that would result in x is greater than negative 2. So you're left with um, three inequalities that are possible for x. So this would obviously be the greater value, so that would go down here. But to choose between these two, you have to figure out which one makes the other one true. So in this case, if x is greater than 2, it's also greater than negative 2, so you would pick 2. And it shows here on the number line. Since any value that's like um, greater than um, 2 is also greater than negative 2, so you would just pick 2. And then there's a shortcut over here, and it's you would just add the two numbers that you have and then subtract them. So the eight would be the greatest value, and then two would be the least va the least or the lowest value. And it's basically doing the same thing you would do over here. So that's the final answer for the range for x. How to determine the possible values for x when given the equations for the sides of the triangle? When you're trying to find x on the segments of a triangle, you have to make sure that two sides are greater than the third side. So for your first step, you have to take two sides. So xy plus yz is greater than xz. And then you plug each side into the equation and you get x is greater than 7 fifths. For your second step, you do the same thing but with different sides. xy plus xz is greater than yz. When you plug in all of your equations, then you get x is greater than negative 5 thirds. For your third step, you have to do the same thing and take yz plus xz is greater than xy. Plug in your equations and you get 21 is greater than x. So your range would be 7 fifths is less than x is less than 21. It seven fifths because it has to make the other one true. The triangle inequality theorem in real life. So this sandwich is a triangle, but we can prove it's a triangle by adding two sides and proving it's greater than the third side. So if you measure this side, it measures up to be 10 centimeters long. This side measures up to be 10 and a half centimeters long. And the last side adds up to be 13, 13 and a half centimeters long. You would take the two shorter sides and then add them up and make them larger than the larger side. So in this case, the shorter sides would be 10 and 10.5, and you would make them greater than 13.5. And when you add them up, 10 and 10.5, that makes 20.5, which is greater than 13.5, thus proving that it is a trend.